Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about how Ukraine is shooting down the supposedly unstoppable Kinzhal hypersonic missile. First of all, we need to understand that the US made Patriot anti air system that was used to destroy the Kinzhal missiles in the recent attacks has been able to intercept hypersonic systems in the form of ballistic missiles since the 80s. This has a lot of relevance as the Kinzhal, by definition, is an air launched ballistic missile not a cruise missile, which means that the weapon has a much different function. This becomes problematic when we consider the main advantage of the Kinzhal, the supposed ability to manoeuvre, which once more, supposedly, makes it more difficult to target. So, why am I saying the word supposedly, you know, with a bit of sarcasm attached? Well, the answer comes in here. Like The, the issue is that the Kinzhal can, according to the Russian military, Ministry of Defense and their military travel at about 10 to 12 times the speed of sound. And here lies the problem. The faster the missile goes, the harder it becomes for it to maneuver. Take this example, right? I was riding my bike the other day and I was going down a hill really fast. Then I tried to pull a really tight corner that I usually would be able to take normally. But I was thrown off balance and crashed, destroyed my elbows and my knees. Spectacular. So what relevance does this have to a missile? Well, the answer is simple. It's basic physics. The faster you move, the more difficult it is to turn or maneuver. Yet we are supposed to believe that the Kinzhal is supposed to be able to maneuver incoming against incoming missiles and to throw off enemy aim. And even if it can do that, it would be bleeding the speed that is vital to its actual, you know, difficulty to be hit and, you know, the whole hypersonic Mark 10 thing. It'd be losing that speed, which would make it much more easy to hit and more vulnerable. I apologise, I'm reading off a script. And this is a really big problem when we consider the fact that the hypersonic missile cannot be fired about treetop level, which is what you'd expect it to do. Now, this is where regular cruise missiles come in. Regular cruise missiles are really low flying. They tend to skim just above tree level, so, they, so they'll come in below radar level so the enemy cannot detect them, or when they finally do detect them, it'll be in the final couple of seconds before the missile collides with them. The Kinzhal, due to this, cannot do such a thing because it's so fast. If we're skimming just above tree level and you come across, hypothetically, a bigger tree, well, guess what, my guy? It's going to crash into the tree, and at the speed of Mark 10 to 12, it's going to blow up on the tree. It's going to take out the tree. You're going to have lots of damage, waste of a missile, and yeah. Or even worse, if, say, you're hypothetically targeting a city, that missile will just go straight into a sky high-rise building or a skyscraper, killing everyone inside and not hitting the actual target. Instead, because of this, the missile must be fired higher up within the detectable range of enemy radar systems. That gives the enemy more time to pre prepare to shoot the system down. This combines with the fact that the Kinzhal systems in this situation were actually fired at the Patriot missile batteries which makes it even easier to be intercepted by the incoming missiles. So you've got all these factors tying up. So first of all, you have the fact that it's just impossible to manoeuvre. The second thing is it has to be fired higher up, you know, where you can detect it more easily. And then we come to the big problem, is that you're firing straight at the, um, the missile battery, which doesn't have to outrun your missile. It just has to intercept. And this is where the whole problem lies for the Kinzhal. It's that it is being used in a situation where it's at a disadvantage. Even if it is as good as the Russians claim, which, like I said before, the physics, like basic physics, the law of physics says it cannot work. Even if it is as good as they claim, it's still being fired directly at enemy targets that are designed to shoot it down, which aren't designed to outrun it, but to intercept it. So really all the Russians did so far is just make the hypersonic missile's job a lot harder 
and the Patriot Missile Systems job a shit ton easier. But yeah, um, it, it really boggles the mind that the Russians were stupid enough to do that. And quite honestly, I'm confused that they even tried. And in all of that, they they damaged a single launcher. Congratulations, Russia. There's more of those coming. But yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.